Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Uh, I wanted to make this video as a follow-up to another YouTuber that I like a whole lot, RGT85. Now, he's mainly a gaming channel, mainly, and today he put out a video called Depression. Uh, it came out about nine hours ago. If you get a chance, go check it out. Uh, he's a YouTuber with about, I'm thinking he has almost 500,000... Uh, yeah, almost 500,000 followers. I think it was right at 442. It's close. Close enough. But he made a video out today called Depression. And basically, he was kind of telling his situation when it comes to depression. And everything he said was completely right. Uh, now, this is kind of refreshing coming from a bigger YouTuber. Uh, yeah, I talk about it a lot. And, you know, I'm very passionate about it. But seeing other YouTubers a bigger, bigger, and you know, more successful than I is quite refreshing. Uh, not in a good way that, hey, you got depression, haha. <laughs> no, not like that. But uh, having somebody that caliber having uh, his say when it comes to depression, which is pretty great. And I'm probably circling my words because I'm terrible. Uh, I didn't really know how to approach this, but this is uh, kind of cool. I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Now, he talks about having depression since he was 16 years old. Uh, he talks about suicide attempt, uh, very similar to uh, one of the uh, attempts I had. And, you know, say what you want. I know people were like, oh, that's not really a suicide attempt if you didn't go through with it, which I was in the ICU. I did have the uh, tube going from my nose into my stomach. Uh, pulling out pills, which, uh, don't do that. Don't do that. Stupid. That's stupid. Don't do it. And he had a very, uh, similar thing, uh, where he chased it down with alcohol and, um, uh, he ended up in the hospital surrounded by his family, which, uh, I didn't know that. I, I had no clue. I had no clue. Um, and this just goes to show some of your favorite people suffer for this. Take a look at Jason David Frank. Um, now the rumor is, I don't know how, like, there's different, I haven't looked too much into it, honestly. Um, now, last I heard, it was depression. Uh, then I heard car crash. Um, but I, I, I don't know. If it was depression and suicide, uh, it's it's pretty sad. I'm pretty sure it is was suicide. Uh, but it just kind of goes to show that, you know, even famous people, uh, people that has the whole world at their fingertips, um, they have it. I mean, it's, it's not... Uh, it, you know, it doesn't discriminate. It ha it's with everybody, basically. And you, I know you hear a lot of people, a lot of neckbeards like me get on, oh, you're fat and depressed. You know, I mean, there are some people that overdramatize it, but for the most part, it's true. There's a lot of people that have mental issues. And this was kind of enlightening to hear from him. Um, you know, he talked about how uh, living is misery. Uh, and I thought that kind of resonated with me. And, and you know, if, the reason I say that is sometimes you wake up and you just want to stay in bed all day long, uh, close yourself out to the world, and don't do a thing. Some days you get up, you're just like, oh, okay, I'm just going to die or something. Let me die. Let me get hit by a car or something. And some days you're happy. Everything's going fine. But in a moment, it just switches. It just hits you. Um, and this can happen, like I said, to anybody. Anybody can happen. And I know I talk about it a lot. I know I do. Uh, but, you know, I always base my channel a little bit on that so you guys could know. Um, but, yeah, like, RGT85, you know, he was talking about it. And he did get a lot of support within the comments, which is great. Um, you know, I, I, if you guys really want to, I, and I'll link it into the uh, description below. That way you guys can see it. He says things better than I can. Uh, you guys know how I am when I talk on YouTube sometimes or on my videos. I stumble all over the words and I'm a stuttering, bumbling mess, which I am now. Um, but yeah, like, um, living is misery, uh, sometimes. Not all the time. And, you know, I, I got good things that's happening to me. And I'm sure in your life, you know, good things are happening to you. And sometimes you might wake up thinking the same thing. Or in the middle of the day, you might be super happy. Then all of a sudden, you're like, I feel alone. I'm I, I'm alone. I don't have anybody. I, you know, I'm scared. Uh, I, I don't want to be here. I, you know, I don't deserve things. Um, and, you know, that's something, something I uh, have problems with is imposter syndrome. 
It's where I think I don't deserve the stuff that I have. You know, and after years of bad luck, I finally got good luck, and I deserve, I feel like I don't deserve it. And a lot of people with depression thinks that way, uh, you know. Uh, usually what happens is you think, oh, this, this thing is good, going good for me right now. Oh, I'm just waiting for the next bad thing to happen. Uh, you keep on looking in the future for bad stuff, and it's kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy. I mean, sometimes you're right. Sometimes uh, your feelings... Uh, things happen it, it does and sometimes you know you you dictate that yourself or it just kind of falls in line um it's it's not bad to think that way uh it, it's really not you, i mean you're not a bad person for you know wanting to be alone and not with your friends and family um and not do the favorite things you do um but that's where you get help and in his case he got uh i believe medical attention he was uh prescribed a, a prescription of, uh, I don't know what kind of pills he said. I don't think he gave a specific, um, but there's a lot of uh, pills and medicines to m medicate this stuff uh, or treat it, not medicate, I don't, you know, to treat it. There's a lot. Um, and sometimes uh, when you start on these pills, um, the first couple weeks, uh, mostly a couple weeks or more, uh, it's hell. It really is. And he explains this and it's, he's like, yeah, it's hell because your mind is basically getting re um, this chemical imbalance. Uh, these pills are taking care of that. And your mind is kind of hard to process things. So you have all kinds of emotions that just come out automatically. Um, you know, it's, it's hard, but sometimes you have to try different medications because not all medications are the same. Uh, let's take, for instance, I take Latuda, and there's some other ones. I don't even know the names. There's a lot. I, I take a lot. But it took me a long time to actually uh, figure out what works for me. That's probably what's going to happen with you. Uh, but don't be ashamed to actually get help or seek help from a doctor. Um, I, I kind of feel like that's important. That's really important to do. Um and like I said, like I said, this could happen to any one of us. Um, it, it, depression's not a discriminating disease, and it is a disease. Uh, some people might say it's not a disease, but it is. It is. It's it's a problem, um, and a lot of there's a stigma that you know if you have depression, you're weak, you're just bitching and crying and trying to get attention. Um, and a lot of people think that. A lot of people think, oh well. Uh, that guy's just wanting attention because he's depressed. And, you know, some people are like that. Sometimes people use depression as a crutch and tr they try to get as much uh, uh, <laughs> notice as possible. What, what am I trying to say? I, yeah, I can't even get my words out. Um, but, yeah, like, like it's, it's non-discriminate and it sucks really bad. And then, like I said, it kind of shows that, you know, you're not alone and some people that you wouldn't expect to have this disease has this disease and there's a lot to do to actually fix this so instead of me rambling on and on and on uh let's go ahead and do this uh so me i you know let me know uh you know there's not much i can really do except for talk to you and i try my best to answer emails and uh, messages. I try my best. It's, sometimes I don't get to it um, between work and everything else. Like it's hard for me to uh, get to a place where I can respond. But eventually, I try to respond or I at least read the emails and or the comments. Um, it's just hard. It's just hard. Like I've never had this happen before, where so many people want to talk to me or leaves me messages. You know, I was going through. Uh, having videos with like 20 views and zero comments for years, uh, you know, 15 years, which, by the way, I'm going to be releasing a video here soon. It's going to be my cringiest video. Uh, it's some videos I found from 15 years ago that's on YouTube. Um, yeah, there you don't want to miss that. Uh, they'll probably be offensive, by the way. They're not in good taste. Uh, but like I said, uh, reach out to me, reach out to a doctor, reach out to friends, reach out to family. Uh, and, you know, if you can, like somebody in the comment section, 
uh, needs help, just talk to them. Like that's that's the best advice I can give. Um, you know, don't be afraid. Uh, like I said, it's it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just is what it is. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.